What's going on people back again with another Rants Reacts and this is the big one, the most requested shout out Standout TV as well for putting out some wavy content for the mandem but I'ma be honest it was little bro that bust this whole series before he went on there I never saw no clips never heard of it and yo we hit this shit out of the park bro not gonna lie the funniest guy I know blood they ain't me fam my fucking brother expressions fam you man already know what it is man this is what you lot wanted and it's only right fam I'm genetically jacked, athletically stacked, half man, half amazing, modern day Mac. Six foot of chocolate make you wonder like Stevie fam. My name's Expressions Oozing, you know, like that. And the girl that's on this day better not be buzzed fam, I'm telling you right now. I've had my heart broken fam, you know them way there. I'm here to find a proper woman. I'm not trying to see no girl that goes to the same barbers as me. That will be boring my trainers, no size nine foot girl or nothing like that. If she comes to some boy better no tracksuit on a BMX fam, I'm gonna be fuming innit. I ain't worried about her, she better be worried about me fam. I'm chocolate superman blood, you know like that fam. I'm in the nation of domination, I'll be dominating that convo. And he will be dominating that combo. That's the one thing about my brother, yeah, bro. But you ain't getting a word in Edgeways if he doesn't want you to. You know them ones, man. Like X, man, nation of domination, fam. Nothing but the facts. Take a grilling, fam, bro. I'll take that like Robbie Williams and Gary Barlow, fam. You know, like that. Let's go. She wasn't ready. I'ma be real. She wasn't ready. Oh my days, blood. This is what I'm talking about, bruv. I'm tired of these men setting me up. I'm sorry about that. You know them way there. How, 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 I'm all losing my words. Jeez, blood. How are you doing? Are your hands are nice and warm. Yeah, they're soft as well, isn't it? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. This is what I'm saying. Guys, what did I tell you, yeah? What did I tell you? When you go on a date, bruv, one, you have to make sure that you break the touch barrier as early as possible, yeah, without trying to get sentenced, yeah? And secondly, bruv, any sort of sexual references or anything that you can throw in as early as possible, do it, because you have to let her know what you're on, fam. You know, like that. They always say in football, yeah, let man know that you're there early, bro. You have to put something on them early doors to let them know what kind of game it's going to be, bro. And that's what you got to do on dates. You got to let this girl know from the beginning, this is the kind of football I play. Do you know what I'm saying? Touch tight, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll step on your Achilles, bruv. I might leave one on ya. You have to let them know. That headband, no. Just the outfit, I was feeling it. But the headband, it killed it. Killed it. How are you? Yeah, to be fair, yeah. I'm not a Gucci headband kind of guy. You know, like that, but bruv. The game is the game, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's King X, bruv. I'm good. What's your name? Cheyenne. Ooh, I love that name. Okay, what's your name? My name's Chocolate Superman. Su this guy's a fool, you know. Do you know what I mean? Shout out Chocolate Superman as well, bro. From from my Tinder days as well, blood. Chocolate Superman w was the username, you know, like that, bruv. Like, me and B me and Big X got more slogans than anything, bro. This is this is gonna be a bloodbath. Superman. Yeah. What makes you Chocolate Superman? <laughs> All of this, you know. I mean, I'm half man, half amazing. Really? And I'm telling you, I walked over here and you remind me of Christina Milian from the Dip It Low video, rolling in chocolate, boy. I'm telling you, I can't believe it. My luck is in. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? Like, bro, this is this is what you call dictating play. Like, it's called grilling, yeah. But, bro, like that was what I tell the man them all the time. You see, when you go on dates, yeah, women like men that take control, bro. Men that know what they want, bro. You have to go in and dominate the game, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? Fuck this passive waiting for a tapping goal poacher shit, bro. You have to go in there. You have to put your foot on the ball and you have to spray blood. And this is what man's doing. Man is oozing, bro. That's where the oozing comes from. Man have to ooze, bro. <laughs> Listen, blood, I'm telling you, she's going to the shops and buying a packet of hula hoops, fam. She's going to be putting every ring on my finger, blood. I'm going to have more rings than Thanos, blood. Hella stones, blood. I'm telling you, John Stone's out here. She's all up. She's on, man. I know that for a fact, blood. And if she's not... I swear I'm going to be single for the rest of my life, blood, because you can't be looking at a guy like that and dressing me with your eyes from the moment I sat down and then tell me you're not feeling me, blood. Less of that. You see what I'm saying, bro? Supreme confidence. That's what you need, fam. Do you know what I mean? Gone in there, broken the touch barrier, let her know exactly what time it is, and she's laughed at right at the beginning, bro. Bruv, it's game over. I'm going to be real, bro. If you can make a girl laugh, yeah, within the first five minutes of the date, yeah, you know, it's like having a good first touch. Do you know what I'm saying? Good first touch at the beginning of the game, you know what kind of game it is. If your first touch is shaky, second touch is a slide tackle, it might be a long day for you, lads. 
Oh, what, 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 you like you like guys that make you laugh, yeah? I'm looking for a man. See that? I am a man. I'm yeah. half man, half amazing. What, don't you want a man that's amazing? Or would you say you're an alpha male? You know what? A lot of guys like to say, oh, I'm an alpha male, I'm this, that and the other. What guy has ever told you they're half man, half amazing? You know what I mean? I could do all the things that a man can do. I can do all the things your man won't do. Like Joe, you know, them way. <laughs> this guy's a fool, blood. You know way, them way that... And that's what I mean. The first thing you said, would you say he's an alpha male? He's definitely a fucking alpha male, blood, because he's loud as hell, bro. He steps in the room and he commands it, bro. That's what my brother does. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. Like, it is what it is. But as he said, bro, you don't need to tell people you're alpha, bro. Alphas no alphas, innit? That's just how it is. It's simple, bro. Like, Do you earn good money? Do I earn good money? Yeah, yeah. I earn pretty decent money. I'm not... Do you earn good money, bro? Like, I'm not going to be funny, yeah, but it's like, hold on. You don't go on a date with someone and ask them, yeah, do you earn good money, bro? Do you know what I mean? If it was the other way around and I said to a girl, do you earn good money, bro? It's like, audacity. It's mad audacious, isn't it? But a girl can afford to be audacious, to be fair. It's one of them double standards you have to allow them. I'm wearing a Gucci headband, sweetheart. What's decent money? Oh, you want to know how much I earn? Once I do my accounts, I'll get back to you. It's a bit forward, but you're buff still, so I'll allow you. Bro! <laughs> I said it's a bit forward. It's audacious, bruv. It's an absolute fuckery. This girl's high, fam. I couldn't believe it. Immediately, I'm thinking, what went through my head? I'm th that Kanye West tune, Gold Diggers, came through my head. But I was going to sing it at the table, you know. Big man Tig, she's lucky she was buff, blood. Trust me, if she was a seven, she would have definitely got I would have told her, blood. But I can't lie, she was, she's sexy, fam. So yeah, I, I told her what she wanted to hear. So I'm a bit sick of guys wasting my time. Mm -mm. I want to ask you some intense questions that usually you don't ask on a first date. Are you okay with that? Well, the way I see it is Rolex don't make belts in it, so there's no point wasting time, you know, like that. That's Constant, right. Yeah. Damn right. I said you damn right. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, controlling the game. Completely controlling the game, bro. And now she's starting to think, you know what, are the questions good enough? That's what happens, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like when you're in a boxing ring and someone hits you with their best shot yeah, and you don't even flinch, bro. It's long, bro. Mine's starting thinking, you know what? This is going to be a long fucking night. Do you think you're a good catch? Bro, I think I'm exceptional. The only person that can take my girl away from me is Ghost from Power. You know, like that. Any other man, I'll have something to say about it. What makes you exceptional? To be fair, yeah, when you when I go home and I look at my birth certificate, yeah, and it says Chocolate Superman, it just shows me, innit? You know what I mean? I was always made to be something great, innit? You know? What makes you exceptional, you know? Like, I don't know. It's, it's a bit mad because it's like, what makes you exceptional? You know, like that. My thing is, yeah, when I'm on a date with a gal, yeah, she's auditioning for me, bro. Do you know what I mean? We're on two different clocks. Do you know what I'm saying? I get better with age. You're declining with age. So I'm asking you all the questions. I'm going to be real because I've got time. You ain't. You know what I mean? Chocolate melts in the sun. You see me, I tan. I turn into dark chocolate. You like chocolate? I do. Yeah, what do you like doing with it? There you go. Number two, bro. Man, I have to let her know I'm on smoke blood. What do you like doing with it? That's what it is, bro. Like, man can have all the, the humour and all them things, but unless you want to end up in a friend zone, yeah, and gal take you for some buffoon, yeah, you have to let her know that I'm on the nitty gritty, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I will throw in a two-footed challenge at any moment, bro. Don't ever think that I'm one of them nice players, yeah, just because man's got pink boots, blood. I'll still two-foot you, fam. They get a bit, you know, hot. <laughs> but it was cool. It made me laugh. I feel like I'm a good person. Makes are you a good great. person? Yeah, I mean, ask my friends. Yeah, but your friends are always going to back you and say you're a good person. I held a charity event in Mexico. Doing what? Working with kids. You know, in Mexico, like, a lot of kids get kidnapped. I'm not sure if you've seen the film Man on Fire by Denzel Washington. <laughs> but a lot of kids get kidnapped and that. And it's really, that's not a good thing, innit? So I went over there. You know what I mean, my good friend's got a yacht. You may know him. Like, he's very well known. His name's Pedro Morales, Mo Gonzalez, Moloto, Magato, <laughs> Modestos. <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot. With the film references, man got the Denzel film re um, reference and then man got the Rush Hour film reference. Both went over her head because she wasn't ready. Do you know what I'm saying? The, he's purring right now. He's purring. Do you know what I mean? The world's his oyster right now. Do you know what I mean? He's got 99% pass completion and the other 1%. Do you know what I mean? I think he must have been tying his shoelaces, didn't see the ball coming. I'm going to be fair, he's, he's killing it right now. You're steaming up my glasses, you know. What colour is that top? <laughs> Viva la raza. You're making me want to do the, the, the Eddie Guerrero and that. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy's a fool. And this is what I'm saying. That's the difference. It's all right. You could be the funny man. But unless you let her know your intent, you'll end up in a friend zone real fast. Too many men want to be the fucking jester and that. Do you know what I'm saying? When you're on a date, yeah, 
you can't be the funny guy unless you're letting her know that you're on smoke from from the beginning because then she'll just be like at the end of the date she'll be like oh you know what it was fun but i didn't really feel the spark bruv you have to let her know spark yeah bruv man the electrician fam you know what i'm saying bruv man will cross them wires bruv you have to let her know exactly what time it is so right now he's killing it i can't lie if she said to me i'm a nice guy i'm saying no or it depends bro i'm not gonna lie i'm a nice guy's subjective, bruv. Do you know what I mean? I, I get jobs done. Please, give me a frog splash any day of the week. This is serious, blood. You know them way there? Like, she's buff, blood. I don't want this to just be a thing where I don't see her again, blood. See, that's what I'm saying. He's like, bruv, early doors. That's what I'm saying. Get to the point. Man said, listen, man's not trying to make this a thing where I don't see her again. So, as much as I'm having fun and that I have to let her know what my intentions are, bro, you have to do it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You're foul. 30 seconds into the game, yellow card. Do you want kids? Yeah, definitely. How many? I'd say two minimum, you know what I mean? But I would go for more, innit? Do you know what I mean? Do you want to try, try making some? No, I don't want to try making them right now. Uh, not yet. Like, would you fuck on first date? Well, I fuck you on the first date, you damn right, boy. <laughs> you see that? Straight to the point. you got to know exactly what the fuck it is. Would you fuck on the first date? Yeah, I'd fuck you on the first date. Bruv, man don't mince the words, bro. Like, this is, this is route one football. I don't think that's good though. What do you mean? Do you know? I'm so fresh and so clean, like like Andre 3000, boy. You know them way there. But I feel like I can go into my my phone book and show you a text message from the NHS that says gonorrhea, chlamydia, negative. Yeah, but you I know feel like I can get out so easily. It just shows you don't have that much self respect. Yeah, well, look at the question that you've been asking me. But where's your self respect about how much money do I earn? Let's say here comes the money. Are you Shane McMahon's sister? Facts. And furthermore, ain't got nothing to do with self-respect. If I'm mashing good-looking gal, yeah, my self-respect is intact, bruv. Do you know what I mean? If, if you see me down kicking ball in League 2, yeah, when I'm a Premier League baller, then fair enough. Then man could talk about self-respect. But if I'm smashing Premier League volleys, yeah, you have to respect the thing, bruv. I'm in a goal of the month contenders every single fucking month. Yeah, but I've got, to, it's got, I've got to be right, you know. I've got to know you're earning good money, a man mm. that can support me. Support? Am I universal credit, blood? Bruv! Good money support me, you know. Hold on. These independent women, yeah? What do you need support for, blood? You got your own money, bro. Like, that's not what I'm here for. I'm going to be real. Like, these guys love a double standard, you know. When it benefits them. When it don't, up in arms, bro, about equality, fam. Some joke thing. I would like a nice family man. Family me. man, you know. Yeah. Wow, I think something after eight Nicolas Cage and that. Would you say you're a family man? Oh, of course, yeah, bro. It's a family affair. You know what I mean? Like Mary J. Blige and that. That's this guy's a fool. Bro, he's, he's just not taking the whole thing seriously. And he, bro, controller blood. Word to Drizzy, bro. Like, this is this is prime pillow. This is Perlo 2008. I mean, I love, I love family. Yeah? Yeah. What do you call that on your head? Headband? I was going to wear a hat because that matched my um, trainers and that. But the thing is, yeah, like, I wanted to show you that I'm taking you seriously, innit? Like, more time, because I do YouTube and that, and people always see me with a hat off. So I said, you know what? I've got more waves than a Caribbean fan. So let me show her that. Put on a little Gucci headband, you know, them wave there, and show her that, you know, I'm making an effort. I'm going to be real. I'm wearing a hat on a date. I don't give a shit. And it just is what it is, bro. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I'm not there to impress you. You're there to impress me. That's, that's just how it is. So I'll turn up like this with the hat back. It depends on what we're doing. I don't really like dinner dates on the first date because I find them boring. We're going to do activity, man. Them know I'm going to turn up in a pair of shorts, blood, a t-shirt, a pair of trainers and a hat. Comfortable. Do you know what I mean? I want to see you comfortable as well. I want to see you in a pair of trainers. I want to see you in something comfortable, yeah? And then whatever activity we do, I'm going to smoke you at it. And then I want to see, yeah, how competitive you are and how you take being dominated, you know, like that, because man need a nice submissive woman. So after I smoke you, you need to take it humbly. You know what I'm saying? If you're getting too aggressive, bruv, you're gone. You like my outfit? That's all right. I'm not feeling the headband though. You don't like the headband? No. Do you want me to take it off? I don't know what it is. I don't like Wait, labels. Do take it off? If you take something off for me, why not? She said she don't like labels, yeah, but at the beginning, she said that she liked man's outfit. A man's got the Givenchy t-shirt. I think he had a Montclair jacket on. Do you know what I mean? And now he's got the Gucci headband. She's like, she don't like labels, but she said she liked the outfit at the beginning. So now she's trying to make a point to say, oh yeah, I don't like labels, but really you do like labels. You just don't like the headband. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. She's trying to, she's trying to make, she's trying to make a point there, but she kind of lost me. I'm not taking anything off. I find like whenever people wear things with labels, it shows that they don't actually have money. You know. Like 
Sometimes, do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, but the game is the game, innit? It's not that game. Like when you're yeah. trying to stunt? Yeah. Are you trying to stunt? No, of course not. You know them way there. Sure? I'm very sure. I've got internet banking. I know I've got money. I hate <laughs> it when people wear labels. It's like, oh, I find people that wear labels don't have that much money because it's just, you're stunting for what? Who are you trying to impress? I don't like that. Who are we trying to impress, bro? Women sometimes, you know, like that. But the game is the game. If women didn't like designer labels, would men wear designer labels? Probably not. Do you know what I mean? But clearly they do because it works, innit? it? Do you know what I mean? It shows women that you got money in it. So she says she doesn't like it, but I can imagine, yeah, that most of the guys that she sees as high value wear designer labels, in it. I don't wear designer labels because I don't like them. However. A lot of guys do in it, and a lot of girls do like that. So I don't know. Maybe she's just trying to stand up. How do you think the chat's going? Yeah, I think it's all right, but yeah. you know what I mean, I'm definitely a catch boy. Nothing to do with COVID, you know, like that boy. <laughs> you can definitely catch me. Bro, I'm telling you. I want to see how compatible we are. Listen, That's we got more chemistry than a periodic table, baby. That's yeah, right. yeah, look, look, look. Oozing. That's just what it is. And again, dominating the thing, bro. She says one thing. And then my, my man says about five different things, bro. He's completely dominating it. Ah, my hands are over there, boy. Yeah, your I'm hands are you. there. My hands are here. Yeah, I know, but that's because you're leaning back like fat Joe. Warm up. You're fat. No, 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 no. Fat, yeah, you are fat. P-H-A-T, pretty hot and tempting. No, that's what I'm saying. Another movie reference, bro. Like, purring, bro. This is just what it is, yeah. Bro, me and, me and X need to do a movie segment anyway, because I'm not going to lie, yeah. Our movie bag is deep. Is very deep but all these things are going over her head like this is sensational this is sensational performance right now this is potentially this is some twist gas shit bruv i'm not gonna lie jeez no now you know why, why yeah no no let me tell you why because yeah you need something needs to attract me for me to chat to someone don't get me wrong if so, if someone's like my brethren like say i'm forced into a situation and i'm chatting to a girl then i'll be like, oh right she's actually a nice girl but for me say i don't know a girl and i'm in like and i'm just walking or i'm in a club or whatever i'm not going to see a dead I mean, if a girl ain't nice to me and she don't attract me i'm not going to walk over to her to find out what her personality is like facts and furthermore i ain't fucking your personality anyway you know like that if you're good looking you got shit personality i'll still be do you know what i mean and i'll leave bruv do you know what i mean if you've got a great personality and you're, I'm not attracted to you then bruv you're in the friend zone and guess what I don't need female friends so that means just nothing's gonna happen do you understand so there's got to be something that attracts me you know what I mean yeah but it could be my banter what yeah but I what am I gonna hear girl ain't got banter bruv girl are not funny bro categorically some of the chat up lines and that bruv if you ever been on dating apps yeah you know what I like to see girls squirm you know, like that, because they've got no chat whatsoever. And I just move stush on there because I don't care, innit? And when you move like you don't give a shit, it's hilarious, bro. You're getting gal chap dancing, auditioning for you. They've got no banter, bro. They've got absolutely no fucking banter. They're not funny, bro. And the shit that they laugh at amongst friends is dead. Dead banter, bro. That's why I don't need no female friends, bro. Their jokes are dead. Yeah, that what am I just going to be hearing a girl? Or well, a girl making some Jim Carrey jokes like loud in a club and that. Yeah, less of that. think it's a bit shallow. Shallow? No, I can't swim, blood, so I don't just, <laughs> It makes no difference to me. Bruv, shallow. It's not shallow at all to pick looks over personality. Like, looks is what attracts you to the person, innit? Like, at the end of the day, if you're not attracted to your partner, yeah, you're more likely to look elsewhere, bro. Do you know what I mean? Men are visual and women need to know that. That's why your appearance needs to be prioritized. A lot of girls don't prioritize their appearance, whether it's staying in shape, do you know what I mean? Doing X, Y, Z or doing what they have to do, making sure their nails are on point. Then they wonder why they can't fucking get a man, bro. It's not that hard. We don't ask for that much. We just ask that you look good, fam. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Stop eating out, start meal prepping, put the cocktails down and get in a fucking gym. Would I care or would I let her know that I care? Would, you care? would, you would care? I personally would you care? care? Yeah. You damn right, blood. Why? Would you? Why is she going on like body count for men and women are the same? You know, like it's not the same, bro. Man said it already with the analogy, bro. If you're a VIP man and you get let in the VIP bear, yeah, that elevates your status, bruv. Do you know what I mean? As a girl, it's easy to get into the fucking VIP, bruv. So it's not the same thing. You are the fucking VIP. You can let anyone in. You're the club owner. You know, like that. If you're just letting any fucking Tom, Dick and Harry into the VIP, bro, it devalues the VIP. It's not VIP if anyone can get in. 
You understand what I'm saying? So I don't care about your body count in the sense that I'm not going to ask you what it is. But bro, I know a hell, I know a hole when I smell one. Do you know what I mean? They got a horrific scent, bro. I can smell it, bro. What do you mean, why? Why would you care? What if I sleep with like 100 men? Well then, I won't be number 101, you know them way there. I am not, I'm not a side man. I'm not halloumi cheese, like, I'm not corn on a cob fam. I'm steak, you know, like that. If you slept with 100 and whatever thing, yeah, like it's one, come on boy, I might as well, I might as well go marry a bucket. You know them way there. That's what it is, boy. I'm Bruv, I could be 101. You'll get smashed, but man not wife in you. It is what it is, do you know what I mean? 100, 101, at this point, what's the difference? Might as well. Just go and rub one out in the alleyway, because that's how it's going to feel in the bedroom. How many people have you slept with? Gav said, how many people have you slept with? Brav! Man's never going to answer that, let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? And a woman's never going to answer that, answer that truthfully anyway, because she knows that her value is closely tied, yeah, to her body count. So she knows deep down, yeah, any number, yeah, is going to be too much for a man, so she'll lie, fam. Huh? I, I'm not gonna lie, it's yeah. A double standard. I, she's asking me all these questions. I'll ask her all them questions. If I don't like what I got here, let's I ain't taking her out. I give her again, fam. You know? And it is a double standard, and it's the only double standard that works in in favor of men. In it is that we can fuck as many women as we want. Cause guess what, bro? Men and women are not the same, bruv. Now this equality thing, bro. It's a myth. Equality equals the same, bruv. Do you know what I mean? We are not the same. Therefore, we are not equal, blood. You know what I mean, bro? We can go to Club Duvet, blood. You know them way there, fam. I'm telling you, I already said she can suck it like Triple H and Shawn Michaels, fam. <laughs> the Generation X, blood. Club Duvet, man, don't need to leave my bedroom, blood. I don't know. And that's the WWE references there. Do you know what I'm saying? He's on great form right now. But if I can count that high, babes. So I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how many girls I slept with. So I, it's a lot? Yeah, so it you is. slept with a lot? Yeah. And you wouldn't let me sleep with the same amount? Hell no! Man, I already told you about the VIP reference, and to be honest, yeah, counting how many gal that you slept with is hella childish, I can't lie. If a man really knows, yeah, how many gal he slept with, yeah, it's hella childish, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? The game is the game, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You just keep playing. At the end of the game, yeah, I don't check my stats, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't do it. I know if I had a good game or a bad game, because I could feel it inside, bro. It's innate, bro. Some days, everything I touch, yeah, is a highlight reel, and... That's what it is. I leave, I check my phone after, and I go back to reality, fam. That's just what it is. No, because I'm here right now. You don't need to sleep with no one else. The date was going well. He's making me laugh. But it's this double standard that I hate in men. I think it's just... I think it's quite toxic, if I'm honest. Bruv, here it goes with the toxicity, bruv. Do you know what I mean? These girls want to be men so badly, you know? These girls, feminists, yeah, claim that they love women so much, but they just want to be men. Why do you want to be men? Why don't you embrace your femininity and... Embrace yeah, the advantages that you get in life being a woman because there's plenty of them. Why don't you embrace that? Why are you worried about what the fuck we be doing? Now you could have never slept with a hundred men. Look at you, boy. You no way you'll let a hundred men get all of that, boy. No way. But they don't happens. deserve it. Huh? But it happens. Nah, 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 nah. We're nah. sexually liberated now. No, we're not. We're not. Less of that. Are. Sister act. Um, but the difference is women lay on their back, open their legs. It's more emotional for you. Whereas me, I could just turn a girl over and just give her the Car Drogo and Khaleesi in Game of Thrones and that. It doesn't have to be emotional. Bruv, it's not even the emotion thing. Obviously, it is more emotional to them. But bro, you're letting someone enter your womb, bruv. You know, like that. Man ain't doing that. Do you know what I mean? It's definitely an external thing. Man could just bend the thing over. Man could be thinking about anything. Do you know what I'm saying? I could be thinking about the 99 final, bruv, when, when I'm beating. It's not that deep, bro. So I don't know why women want to pretend, yeah, that they can have sex for sport. They can't. They are not built like us. They never will be built like us. That's a bit sexist, no? No, it's not. Have you got a dick? Can you do that? Can you turn... Bruv, life is sexist, bro. Do you know what I mean? And the sooner that these gal actually just come to terms with that, they'll be happier in life and they won't be on all these antidepressants and all these anti-anxiety fucking tablets. All these girls are popping pills, fam me around and i know you can't no, yeah but we can put in effort and you energy. receive you don't give you no, receive we do. yes, you receive we do. Yeah. girl receive dick bro that's what sex is bro i don't care even if she's riding it she's still receiving the dick bro do you know what i mean you're a receiver yeah. i mean give you receive no, yeah we if you're playing give. tennis yeah i'm serving blood yeah you know them way you're receiving <laughs> you're hitting it back why is it okay for a guy to sleep with a hundred women but women can't do the same and for me this is an issue that i take quite personally and it's not because you know i'm why do you take it personally? You want to be a hoe so badly. Why do you care? I'm going to be real. Like, why do you care? Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of things going on in the world. I don't take it personally. You know why? Because it's got nothing to do with me. Sometimes just mind your own business, bro. That's what I like to do is sensational stuff. 
sleeping with every man, but I just feel like there shouldn't be this double standard. If you can do it, so should I be able to? No. Talking of tennis, you look kind of like that soccer girl. I'm not even going to lie, but you, know, you look better though. She might have Wimbledon, but you got me in it. This guy's foolish, bro. Naomi is cold. She don't look like Naomi, but to be fair, yeah, again, he's letting her know. You got me. Like, man's there. I'm letting you know what time it is, bro. Like, he's stamping his authority on the game, bro. This was like Roy Keane in the tunnel with Patrick Vieira when he said, see you out there, and he just dominated him, bro. It's that kind of performance, fam. What if I was a sex worker? What's your thoughts on that? You Bruv, these girl are sex workers anyway, bro. If you check their Instagram, yeah, the, only, the most likes they get is bikini photos. That's sex work, bruv. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these girls are getting fucking jobs and this, that, and the other off bikini pics. That's sex work. Let's not try and dull it down. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to be on OnlyFans to be a sex worker. Most of these girls on Instagram now, 20,000, 30,000 followers. These girls are sex workers. You could be anything you want to be. You just won't be with me, blood. You know, like that. That's what it is. You can have the equality. You can have all these other things, bro. Be happy. But I'm not involved. You know them way there. Bro, why do I want to be with a porn star? Like, let's be serious. Like, what I'm, about OnlyFans then? Yeah, that's fine. Because OnlyFans doesn't... Everyone thinks OnlyFans is uh, a girl rubbing one, doing that. Style. I know that people can just create OnlyFans just to have it. Just to have content that you want private, that people have to pay for. Mm. You understand? But you subscribe to my OnlyFans. Jeez, sorry, I, I, I was just like looking at Tia and Tamira, blood, you know, them way there. Nice. Sister Again, letting her know I'm looking at the breast, blood, like I'm trying to smash. That's exactly what you got to do, guys. Do you know what I mean? Intent. This is exactly what it is. Would you subscribe to my OnlyFans, bro? Only simps subscribe to OnlyFans, bro. Why would you be looking and paying for content of a gal when you could be smashing one? It don't make no sense, bro. If you did subscribe to an OnlyFans, you're a simp. Do you know what I mean? And we do not, we do not recommend that kind of behavior on this channel. We do not condone it. We never will. Do you know what I mean? Every man has an inner simp, yeah? And every time you feel it slipping out, you have to push that right back down there, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Push that right back down, bruv, to the base of your stomach. Don't let it come out because it's coming out. You're going to say some dumb shit. Push that back in, bruv. Don't allow it. The sister and that boy, I swear, that top is low, fam. You know what I mean? Looking like a low rider in Mexico. I, I know it's difficult, but... <laughs> see what I'm saying, bro? Like, this is this is too much. When you've got someone stood there in like a low cut top, but a lot of the time I do actually to test guys. I want to see if they're looking at me and they're concentrating to what I'm saying or if they're looking at my chest. See, let's we'll say test guys, bro. Don't test me. Do not play games. At the end of the day, if you've got your tits out, I'm going to look at your tits because I'm a man, I'm a warm blooded male, I'm an apex predator and I want to slay, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what men are there for. We are here to conquer. That's what it is. So if you show me the titties, I'm going to want to conquer the titties. It's that simple. It's not really a test, bro. Do you know what I mean? All you're doing is giving me what I want. It's not a test whatsoever, bro. So it's the test. Do you always no. look at women's I boobs? I lie, on I cheat, dates? I steal, blood. Huh? Do you always look at women's boobs on dates? I, I look at women's boobs that ask me how much money I'm earning. Cross that line, I'll cross it as well. You see that? And that's what I mean. You have to remind her that, yo, louder double standards. Don't be asking me inappropriate shit yet. And then when I'm doing inappropriate shit, it's an issue. Do you know what I'm saying? But man's looking at the titties, bro. Like, always take it back there, man. Them. You always have to take it back to the sexual references. Man have to. And then man threw in another WWE reference going over her head. Do you know what I'm saying? But man's, yeah, this performance is flawless so far. You know what I mean? This girl's putting her chest in chest in and that blood. Jeez, gang business. What I'm talking about. Chest in Manchester. Wee, wah, wah. That's it. Like, there you go, bro. He's taking a piss. No eye contact. Straight on the breast, bro. And that's what it is. My man's got, he's got 100% pass completion in the final third right now.